If a picture is indeed worth a thousand words, you can save a lot of writing by inserting just the right image. We're going to spice up this rather bland page having to do with a wildfire workshop. We we'll want to make sure we're logged into the control panel up here. And we'll go on down to Standard Pages. We'll locate the page about Fire Smart Day and then slide over here and click on Edit Page. Now placement of the image is very important. I'd like the image to be surrounded by the text on the page, so I'm going to place my cursor right here. Then we'll go up here and we're going to click on the Insert Edit Image link. Now you'll notice there's nothing here for the source, which would be the path to the image, so we'll click on the Browse button. And a quick word before we get going here about using the directory structure you see here. It'll save you a ton of time and frustration if you keep your images and documents well organized. You can see we've come in on the Images folder here. And if you were working with a document instead, well, you could come down here and click on Files and then on to Documents. In this case, we'll leave it on Images. The image I want to use hasn't been uploaded to the website file directory yet, so I'll have to locate it on my computer and upload it. So we'll go up here and click on Upload. And you can see we have two options here. We have Dropbox, which is a file storage site, and Local Machine, which are the files on your computer. And in this case, we'll select Local Machine and navigate to where the image is located. For our sake, I have the folder handy, and here's the image right here. You'll notice I've already resized this image. It's about 300 pixels wide. And this is a very important step as raw images are often way too large. Unnecessarily large images not only take up server space, but can also create a longer wait time for your visitors. You should generally never need an image larger than 1,000 pixels wide. You'll find a specific tutorial on resizing images in our library. So we'll go over here and select on this image and come down here and click on Open. And this will begin the upload process, which you can see only took a moment. Once it's done, make sure that the image is selected. And then we'll come on down here and click on Insert. And now you'll note the path to the image has been filled in. It'd be tempting just to click on OK and insert the image, but take the time to fill in the image description, as this helps with search engine optimization and can also help your visitors who have site impairment issues if you put in something more descriptive than just an image name, such as what is happening in the image. This information will be related to visually impaired visitors who are using a page reader. The image title is also helpful as it can appear in a caption on the image when viewed, and I think I'll make mine Fire Smart Volunteers. You'll see the dimensions are already filled in here, and constrained proportions means the relative difference between height and width of the image will be kept. You can put a check mark next to caption to create a space for a description that would appear below the image. Let's go up here and click on the Advanced tab. You can also create some space around your image to set it off a bit by using the vertical and horizontal space settings. We're going to make ours 10 pixels each. You can also put a border around the image now the value you put in here will dictate the width of that border and for our purposes we'll make ours one pixel. When you're done, click on OK. And you can see there's the image. However, it's kind of stuck in no man's land here. That's because it hasn't been aligned left or right yet. So you'll notice the image has already been selected and we can use the alignment tools. They're up here on the toolbar. We're going to align ours right. That looks much better. You can see how the text now flows around the image. You can also easily align the image to the left, like this, for an entirely different look. But I think for our purposes, I'll leave it right. And to do that, all I have to do is go over here and click on the Undo button. If you're happy with the results, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Update Page to save your work. Now let's take a look at how it all turned out. I have my website open on an adjacent tab for easy access. Of course, the page here hasn't changed yet, so we'll have to go up here and click on Refresh to see the latest results. And there it is. That's a great improvement over the all-text page. So as you can see, adding the right images and the right spots can make a world of difference in the look of your website. Check out our video library for other tutorials on working with images.